we greatly appreciate you all. I'm, uh, I'm almost speechless to walk in here. I've not been here. You see this right here? See the firefighter down on the, on the beam? Yeah. This is why we're here. If it wasn't for September 11th, 2001, these 27 young men in here would not be here and we wouldn't even have this gallery. So we kind of want everyone to come in and say, what happened to your life after that day? Because this whole world changed. I'm almost nervous to look because it's just, it's, it's something I'm, I don't think I'm really prepared for, Jason. Man, I gotta get through this thing without cracking every five seconds. Um, Welcome to another episode of Pile of Scrap. I'm here with a friend of mine, veteran, extraordinary human, Jason Geis. Thank Jason, you. thank you for joining me. Thank you for being at Portrait of a Warrior Gallery, John. We greatly appreciate you being here. Well, this is, um, you know, Pile of Scrap is a podcast of recyclers, but we're coming into Memorial Day and uh, you know, why not do something a little different? Uh, uh, we're glad you picked us to do, be, do something different. <laughs> Tell us about this gallery. Welcome to Portrait of a Warrior Gallery, where our motto is always remembered and never forgotten. And that's our commitment to our Gold Star families in Kern County. Not just our Iraq and Afghanistan, but also our Vietnam, Korea, and World War II. And in this room, which is really the heart of this gallery, is all we wanted to do. We wanted a little gallery that had the 27 portraits of the 27 men from Kern County that gave their life for us on the battlefield. These are the 27 post 9-11 that died in combat. Tell us, okay, we're in this wonderful, well, tell us about what I'm looking at here. I wanna tell you about this young man from Shafter, Ricardo Barraza, second Ranger Battalion, serving our country, multiple tours. He gets killed in the middle of a firefight and a gentleman named Matt Best, who started Black Rifle Coffee Company, avenged Ricardo Barraza's killer immediately thereafter. And Matt Best wrote a book and a chapter of this book is dedicated to Ricardo Barraza and you and your brother Philip have been sponsoring Ricardo Barraza's portrait since September 10th of 2018. Your guys' name has been proudly on this wall sponsoring the portrait and I know his parents very well. They're both field workers in agriculture and they have a scholarship fund for three chapter high school students. They write essays and Mrs. Barraza picks three high school graduates that are going to college and the father who still works in the fields, they save money to be able to give to these three promising students. And there's a memorial highway that runs through Shafter called the Ricky Barraza Memorial Highway. And they're getting ready to name a park after him in Shafter. And if you look behind you, that original portrait was done by the man that started this whole thing, Ken Pridgen in Baytown, Texas. And Ken found out that we were doing this and Ken said, I want to paint one of Kern County's portraits because I'm thrilled that another community is doing what I did. And that is the original Ricardo Barraza portrait and we had a duplicate made to fit the size in our okay. gallery. So that belongs to the Barraza family and so they keep it here so we can display his portrait in two places in the gallery. How often are people coming through here? 
every day that we're open, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, 11 to three, run by all volunteers. And if you call and you want a tour, it doesn't matter who you are in the community, we will have a private tour for anybody that calls and asks and arrange for it on our calendar. So you served in the Army. How many years did you serve? 21. Active duty okay. as a medic. As a medic? Yes. Mostly with airborne infantry units. What airborne division? 82nd Airborne Division, 101st Airborne Division, 509th Parachute Infantry Regiment, and 25th Infantry Division. Wow. So you were a medic? Yep. Yep. How and many it, tours of duty did you do? Five tours of duty, but not all, all Iraq and Afghanistan. I was in Kosovo when September 11th happened. So the 101st Airborne Division was on a six month deployment to Kosovo. And I was the senior enlisted medical advisor to a one-star general. And while we were there, I was doing some training with some younger uh, service members, uh, medical response training. And we got an alert over the radio that the United States was being attacked. And here we were in Kosovo, and of course I'm in the 101st Airborne Division. The, you know the history behind that division. We wanted to go get in the fight and we were stuck on a peacekeeping operation in Kosovo and got extended two more months before we could get back to the States because everyone was ramping up to go to Afghanistan. And on that day, did you feel your life changed? Without a doubt. I mean, I, I knew that I was gonna be in combat. And, and that's what I had trained my whole life for. I was a sergeant first class. I was a platoon sergeant at that time. And I was like, I wanna take my men and I wanna go over there and I wanna get payback. And I wanna make this right for what happened to us. And we couldn't wait to get back. So from medic though to help <laughs> tell me that the, the medic, you're saving the soldier wounded. Until, well, when they and get wounded. And then you're having, at what point are you the soldier shooting back versus yeah. the soldier trying to help yeah. your wounded comrade. So when you're in the 82nd Airborne Division, you're an 82nd Airborne Division infantry soldier until your specialty is needed. So we, I trained with the infantry guys. Everything that they did, kicking doors in, being a shooter, we do all of that. I have a nine millimeter, I have an M4 with all the tools and toys on it. Uh, but when somebody gets hurt, you have to go from being a killer to being a saving person for the guy that's wounded. You're their only survival between that moment and when that helicopter comes in to get them to a surgical suite. And if we can get them there within 60 minutes, the survivability rate in Iraq and Afghanistan, 97% chance of survival. That's phenomenal. Right. I'm looking at this by Pedro. And uh, this little picture here, just, just how many baseball games my son played in. Yep. His mother was here the day we opened and we unveiled this portrait. She's from Utah. She works for UPS. And she came here and she cried tears of joy um, when, when this was unveiled. Because we don't show any portrait to the community until we show it to the Gold Star family. Well, I, I, that sounds... Ah, you a... see this one right here, John, in the corner? This portrait right here is Aiden Gonzalez. And his parents came in from Washington State. And Aiden wrote a letter to his grandmother and it said, Grandma, thank you for telling me who Jesus was because I believe and I need you to pray for the Iraqis and I need you to pray for my fellow Marines that aren't believers. And thank you, Grandma, for the faith that you give me. I'm gonna be fine. And we'll have that letter was in the mail to the grandmother, he was killed. And the grandmother was here when we unveiled the portrait and we put her letter there so that people could read the impact that a grandparent can make on their grandson with respect to their faith. We think it's incredible. You know, recycling and the military have gone hand in hand since World War II. Yeah. You know, the old posters, they had, you know, save your metal, you know, for your bullets to, to, to beat the Axis forces. I mean, we have that in our trade association. I 
I don't know, fate makes certain things of why you come in. You know, you, 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 we help, you know, my brother and I because it's, it's, it's important. You know, my father, like I said, was in World War II and... Neither my brother and I had any military service, but they've always, the, the, the soldier has always been in our heart and always will be in our heart. Here's the four sets of dog tags that hang on the battlefield cross. And this is important to all service members because when we lose our brothers on the battlefield, this is the only way that we get to memorialize them for just a minute before we have to get back in the fight. And Alberto Garcia, um, Adam Zanudo, um, Herman Mackey, and Luis Gutierrez Rosales' mothers took those dog tags off their neck after we unveiled their portrait, and they display those here. Those are those mothers' dog tags of their sons, and those are the dog tags that were on those sons when they died on the battlefield. That's why we have this roped off, and the Patriots of Kern and Dick Taylor were instrumental in making this display happen. They had that cast in Virginia. And that's dedicated to all service in Kern County, of all of our services. Anybody who's interested in donating to this wonderful gallery, how do they do it, Jason? Because I think people need to know, and I, I'm sure there are some people who are going to want to. So tell them how, how to uh, donate here. So they can come down to the gallery at 1925 I Street, uh, 93301, right across from Sandrini's and Dagny's Coffee. Or they can go on our website, which is www.kern-warrior.org. Or they can just type in Portrait of a Warrior Gallery in a Google search. As long as they put Kern County, they'll get the right one. The other one's in Texas. Yeah, we got to get the one here in Kern that's, County. That's right. That's right. So thank you very much. Thank you to you and your family, Phil and his family, and your Sierra family wow. for everything that you guys do. You're more than welcome. It's an honor to be Appreciate here it. to support you guys in this tremendous salute to our fallen warriors and to our warriors that have fought for in this country for for the life of this country, and we go forward. So that's it. Thank you.